Hey there, it's Tom Corsonals, founder of TCK Publishing. And right now in this video, I want to first of all welcome you to the TCK Publishing family as a brand new client. Uh, this video is just for you, it's for brand new clients. And it's kind of a welcome video and an introduction to the entire publishing process and really a step by step guide to show you uh, how to get your book published as quickly as easily and effortly as possible. So I'm going to go over the entire process with you and there's a lot of links under this video that can be really helpful for you like the publishing checklist. Uh, we also have an ebook formatting guide template that you can use as well uh, when you're writing your book to make it a whole lot easier for you as well. So the first thing I'm going to go over is basically the entire process, um, the overview of how the publishing process works. So the first step in working with us of course is you have to get the contract signed. Uh, so I'm assuming you've already received the contract from us. Uh, if you reviewed it, you went over it, you had your attorney review it, you're happy with it, um, maybe you need some changes, whatever, we worked all that, that out. Uh, the contract is signed by both of us, um, so then you're good. Next thing to do is take care of the payment. If you need payment details, we can send you that as well on email. Um, once the contract is signed, the payment's taken care of, that's when we really get to work and start getting your book published. So the next step, of course, is to get your book written totally 100% complete. Now, you may have already uh, written your book, maybe already done. You might be working on your book right now. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same process for everyone. Once your book is 100% complete, that's when you'll send it to us and we'll start formatting it. Um, we'll help work with you on the title. Uh, maybe you've got some title ideas already. Maybe you have no idea what you want the title of your book to be. We'll help you with that. Once we both agree on the final title for your book, once the book is formatted, uh, we'll get done with the cover design. Once the cover design is done, the title is done, uh, the book's formatted, you've approved everything, you're totally happy, you love the cover, you love the book, you're ready to go, that's when we'll publish it. Once we publish it, we'll start the entire marketing campaign. And I'll take you step by step through each of these uh, steps in more detail, but that's just the, the overview of how the process works. So really, uh, how we work together is just like a partnership. And we do the publishing and the marketing, uh, that's our really main job in the partnership, and your main job is to finish and complete your manuscripts um, so that's why uh, you know it's really important that you focus most of your energy and effort on writing your books. So I don't want you to you know write one book and then spend the next five years marketing your book. Uh, and that's great to do. You should spend time marketing your books. Um, but you know if, if you're a serious writer, if you will have multiple books inside of you, um, you know spend most of your time writing. Uh, you know it's the 80-20 rule uh, in business and in life is that you should spend 80% of your time. On, on the stuff, the high priority task, and 20% of your time on other things. And when it comes to being a writer and an author, you know, you have to spend 80% of your time writing, working on your craft, becoming a better writer, writing more books, um, creating more great content, more great stories to share with people. That's what's really going to make you a successful in the long term. And our goal is to help all of our clients, clients like you, earn a full-time income as an author. And you know it's very hard to do that if you're not really focusing on the activities that make you money as an author. And of course, the number one activity that makes you money is writing books, getting your books done, getting your books published. So since we take care of all the publishing, a lot of the marketing for you, and we give you step-by-step -step marketing guides and tell you how to, to market your books, you don't really have to worry about that so much. You know, you can focus most of your energy, most of your effort, about 80%, on writing new books, coming up with new book ideas, and doing what you love, which is to write. So that's, that's uh, how the partnership works, and it's worked really well, and I hope it's going to work great for you as well. So once you're 100% done with your book, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to send us the file, the manuscript. So uh, the best thing to do is send us a doc file, .doc or .docx. It's a Microsoft Word file. If you don't use Microsoft Word, whatever kind of writing program you use, you can save your file as a Microsoft Word document and send us that document. Now, if you don't have a, a Microsoft Word document to send us, that's fine. You can send us a PDF. That will do as well. Um, it's much better if you send us the original Word document because it, it just makes it a whole lot easier to do the editing and the formatting of it for you. Um, so primarily send us the Word document. If you can't, uh, for whatever reason, send us a PDF as a backup. Now, uh, I want to be really clear about the writing process so you kind of understand how it all works and when is the appropriate time to send us your book file. So we want you to send us the file when you're totally 100% done with your book. You're like you're totally ready. There's no more edits you need to make, no more changes you need to make. So here's a process I really recommend um, for writing and completing your book. So the first thing you do, you're going to write your book. Obviously, you're going to be done with your book. You're going to be happy with your book. After you've written your book, you really want to make sure you edit it yourself. It's called self-editing. And self-editing is really huge because the entire process of writing is really a process of learning, the process of making mistakes. We all make mistakes. That's how we get better. 
So every time you're, you're editing your book and you see a typo, you see an error here, um, you see a sentence that you don't really like, you want to change how you, how you stated that, that's wonderful. It's a good thing. It's good to find mistakes because it means you're learning, you're growing, you're getting better. So mistakes are how uh, we learn, it's how we get better. You cannot be a great writer without making thousands and millions of writing mistakes. This is how you become a great writer. So the more mistakes you find, the better. So you're going to write your book, you're going to edit yourself, you know, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe many times, depending on, on uh, you know, how, how particular you want to be and, and how successful you want to be. But, you know, don't spend years and years editing your own book. Once you've edited it several times, you know, once you've made a lot of progress, you've found a lot of mistakes, then it's time to send it to a third party. You need to send it to someone else to edit your book for you. Now, I highly recommend a professional editor. If you don't know any professional editors, uh, we have some references for you of really great people who've done great work for us and for our clients in the past. Um, and they also, they don't charge exorbitant rates, so we want to make sure we get you good rates for your editors as well. So don't go out and pay $5,000, $10,000 for an editor. Uh, we can find you uh, people who will do really, really great work for a lot less money and save you a lot of money in the process. But it's really important that you do find your own editor. And it's so important you do this because, remember I said learning is about making mistakes and learning from our mistakes. You cannot become a great writer without learning from your mistakes. And the funny thing is that we don't know everything ourselves, right? You don't know everything yourself. And so someone who reads your manuscript who's a trained professional editor is going to see mistakes that you make that you just cannot see yourself. You know, it's like Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer in the world, has like six or seven golf coaches. You know, why would the greatest golfer in the world hire people who are worse golfers than he is to coach him, right? That just doesn't make sense. Why would the best person hire people who are worse than him to coach him? The reason he does it is because he knows they can see things about his swing and his game that he cannot see. He's literally blind to his own mistakes. And you and I as writers are the same exact way. We get blind to many of our own mistakes. So if you do not have an expert editing your book for you, you're just going to continue to remain blind to those mistakes. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you really want to grow and you really want to be the best and the best of the best that you can be, the best person you can be, the best writer you can be, you need someone like a coach to come and see your mistakes, to see the areas that you mess up. And now, when I had my, when I first hired my editor, one of my manuscripts, I remember she said, you know, Tom, in 40 pages, you use the word now 46 times. And most of them were at the beginning of a sentence. You know, I, don't you think that's a little bit excessive? And I was like, yeah, you're right. That's totally ridiculous. Like, why would I do that? But to me, I was totally blind to it when I was reading my manuscript. It sounded perfectly fine to me. Um, but having that third party just makes little, little things like that uh, that you can change makes you a much better writer over time. And, and the, the, the key here isn't that any one mistake you make, any one kind of error you make is, is the one that's going to take you from where you are to the best writer in the world. It's not about that. It's about just continual progress, continual learning, getting a little bit better every single day. So that's why hiring a writer, or hiring an editor is so, so important. So you're going to hire a professional editor. You're going to have your editor edit your book for you. They're going to give you your manuscript back edited with the red line. You're going to see all the mistakes you make. I want you to make sure you go through it 100%. Go through the entire document, every single edit they make, every single one. You need to review every single edit your editor makes. There's a couple of reasons you want to do this. First of all, you want to learn. Every time you make a mistake, you want to learn from those mistakes. You want to, you know, so you do, so you get better, so you don't have to repeat them again. The other reason you want to make sure you go through your manuscript is to make sure your editor did a good job. You know, if you go through your book and and you find your editor was was making mistakes themselves, or uh, you know they didn't catch very many of your mistakes, or you still have hundreds of typos left that your editor didn't catch, then maybe that's a sign that you need a, a different editor. Um, the other reason you want to do this is again just to learn, just to get better. And to, to make sure you're totally happy with your book. Because when it comes time to formatting it and publishing it, and the book's live on Kindle, we can still make changes later, but it, it takes more time. It's a lot more difficult. It's more expensive. Um, so it's really important you get totally done with editing before you send us the manuscript. And uh, you know, we want to make sure you're really happy with your book. You want to make sure you're proud of the book. Because when it comes time to marketing your book, if you don't believe in it, if you're not really happy with it, if you're thinking, well, there's all these things I wish I had changed, uh, then you're not going to do as good of a job as marketing because su subconsciously you're just not going to believe in yourself and your work as much. So it's really important that by the time you send us the manuscript, you're 100% happy with it. You're totally thrilled. You're excited. You cannot wait to get it published. That's when you send us the manuscript. Once you do that, we'll format it uh, we'll, and we'll go on to that entire process from there. So we'll format your book for Kindle for you. Um, this is about the same time we'll be going over title ideas. So after you send us your manuscript, it's totally completed, totally done. Please send us a list of five to six title ideas for your book. It's really important that you brainstorm 
multiple title ideas, even if you're totally set on just one idea, maybe you have a novel and you've, you know, the title's been set for years, you've planned this out for years, even then it's still a good idea just to send us a few different title ideas because it kind of breaks up your pattern and make sure you look at multiple possibilities because you can never really make a good choice in life without options. So if you only have one title idea, you're not making a choice. It's either yes or no, I like the title or I don't. But when you have five or six ideas, then you can kind of look around and see, okay, out of these many possibilities, I really like this one the best. And you're going to make a better decision that way. Now, if you want, we'll also send you some title ideas as well. Uh, we'll mix and mash. We'll brainstorm together and come up with a title that we're both really, really happy with that we think is going to do a good job of selling the book, that we think is true to the book and true to you. And uh, once we're all happy with the title, once we formatted the book, we'll go on to cover design. If you have like a really specific vision that you want for your cover, that's great. Please let us know. We'll send that information to the designer so they can design something that you're looking for. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and, and do what we do best and just uh, you know come up with a great cover for you. Uh, we'll have you review the cover. We'll have you review the formatted book. We'll have you review everything. Once you're totally happy with it, that's when we'll go ahead and we will publish the book for you. Now, notice that it's going to take a couple days for Amazon to approve your book. Um, so, you know, once we upload it to Kindle, it might take one day, it might take a week, depending on, on whoever's working on Amazon that day, I guess, you know, how long it takes for them to approve your book. Once your book is live, we will immediately send you the link to your book on Amazon, so you'll see where your book is live on Amazon, and that's when we'll send you all the information in regards to marketing your book. So we'll cover that in the next video. Um, but that's just the entire process for you. We'll schedule the, the book launch. We'll schedule the promotions, we'll do all that, and I'll give you a lot more detail on that and a follow-up video, and we have an entire checklist for marketing as well for you. So you can just go through step by step by step what you have to do for marketing. But I want to cover some more points for you about writing your books and about how to get them published efficiently. So one of the things I really want you to do is make sure you always back up all of your files. It's really, really important you back up all of your work. You know, a few years ago, uh, I had a laptop, uh, it stopped working so well, and uh, I bought a new laptop, I, I forgot to back my old one up, I didn't save the files, and I lost all of my original writings, all my manuscripts, um, several books. I lost uh, many of my poems I've written as a teenager. You know, I lost all my writing, basically, um, of my like 10 years of writing, I lost all of it on my, on my computer because I, I didn't back it up. I wasn't smart, I wasn't thinking ahead, um, I was careless, and I lost everything. And not only did I lose my manuscripts, my writing, and all the work that I worked so hard on, I lost a lot of money. I mean, that was tens of thousands of dollars, probably more money that I lost because I lost all my old manuscripts. I do not want the same thing to happen to you. Don't throw your money away. Don't throw your work away. Don't throw your time away. Make sure you back up everything that you do. So here's what I use for backup and some options that you can use. So first of all, I use Dropbox. Dropbox.com. It's a really simple system. Uh, it's actually free up to a certain amount of storage. You probably won't need more unless you use it for tons of pictures and things like that. But for books, it'll back up all your book files for free. You'll have plenty of space for that. And it's a really simple system. Dropbox.com, you can sign up. Um, it's amazing. So it backs up all of your, all of your files onto the cloud um, and makes make sure that you have all your files there. So if your computer burns in a fire tomorrow, you lose your entire hard drive, Everything backed up into Dropbox will be safe forever. So, you know, you can buy a new computer, you can go back to Dropbox.com, you can re-download all your book files, everything you've worked so hard on, so you don't lose all that good, important work. Now, some people choose to, to have actually multiple sources of backup, so there's actually other ways you can do it as well. So, if you use Gmail um, and possibly other email services, you can also email your books to yourself. Uh, you can create folders for your books, and basically if I email a file to myself, in Gmail, one of my books, and save it in a folder so I can find it later, um, I'll always have that file in Gmail as long as I don't delete that email. So that's another good way to store things. It's not really 100% certain. It's not as good as having something like Dropbox, but it does work pretty well. So as another source of backup, it's good to have you know redundant sources of backup um, because that way if something fails, if Dropbox goes out of business, you'll still have these other sources to back up and make sure you don't lose your stuff. Another thing a lot of people use um, is, a, is a physical hard drive. You can have a physical, um, you know, like a, a secondary hard drive um, that you can store files on. You can have flash drives you can store files on. There's all kinds of portable um, computer drives that you can have to store your files for you as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, of physical storage like that because I'd rather have something like Dropbox and Gmail and these other digital storages so that if I'm traveling around the world, I don't have to you know, just find my USB somewhere or find my portable hard drive. I can just download it 
from the cloud or from my email, but it's good to have multiple sources of backup. So do what works best for you, but make sure you absolutely back up all of your files, all of your books, all your manuscripts. You do not want to lose it. It's going to cost you a lot of money and a lot of time. So make sure you have backup. Okay, another little tool that we have for you is the ebook publishing client template. So um, this is a template from Microsoft Word. If you use Microsoft Word, um, you can just open the file. You can write your book inside this template. It's already got chapters for you. Um, it's already got the title page. It's got the about the author section. It's got all this information in there. That's how your book is going to look when it's completed, but it's just not filled out. So you're going to fill out the book inside. So um, if you're writing a brand new book, you're starting right now, the easiest thing to do, download the template right now, write your book inside the template. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to format your book for you. And it's going to help you feel good because you're already going to have your book filled out. You know, you're not writing on a totally blank page. You've already got the structure for you to write your book, complete your book. If you've already written your book elsewhere, um, you can kind of transfer it into that file um, to, to format it that way. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, um, the most important thing you need to do is make sure you copy and paste um, your entire document, whether it's in Scrivener or Pages or some other format. Copy it into a .txt document or copy it into editpad.org, it's a website. And what both these, uh, the website and, and text document will do is it formats your entire file back into uh, plain text. So it removes all extra HTML, any kind of stray formatting errors that might make your book look really funny on Kindle. It just deletes all that for you and just leaves the plain text. And you can copy that plain text back into the Word template and everything will work fine and just perfectly for you. It'll look beautiful when we upload it to Kindle and you won't have to do any extra work. Um, so that's another great tool that we have for you. Okay, now for those of you who have multiple books already, maybe you've got three or 10 or 20 books, whatever, already finished or about to be finished, I really wanna make sure that you focus on one book at a time and get one done before we move on. Now it's really important you do that because otherwise what happens is you send us three or four books at once uh, and then you go back and you notice, hey, you know, this book number two, I wanted to make some changes to it and you send us book number two or something that changes and then you realize, well, if, those, if I need to make those changes to book number two, then you change all your books and pretty soon what happens is our emails are totally filled with all these different files that you've sent us. And it gets really confusing for everyone. It ends up sucking up a lot of both of our time. And it's not nearly as efficient. So what I want to make sure you get done, get one book done first. Focus on one book. Which book do you want to get done first? Focus on it 100%. Get it fully edited professionally. Go over it yourself. Make sure you're totally 100% happy with the book. Then send us the file. We'll get it formatted. We'll go over the title with you. We'll get everything done. You can see how the process works. And then go into book two and book three and book four. Now, it might seem like you know this is a slow way to do it. We get it much done faster if we did everything at once. Um, but really, my experience is it's the much, much, much faster way to do it. We spent sometimes months um, with clients who have multiple books. And you know it, it never really gets done because they're always you know they're going from one book to another to another. They get distracted. Uh, more mistakes happen because you're distracted. So it's really so much easier. Just focus on one book, get the one book done, then we'll move on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and we'll guide you through the whole process. You just have to trust us that we know what we're doing. Let's get the first book done first, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, another important thing about sending book files is make sure you're always using the most current file. So once you send us your book, it's 100% done. We format it for Kindle for you, and then we'll send you back the formatted book. Now, if you need to make changes after that, it's totally fine. You can make changes. Just make sure you make the, any changes or edits you make to the format of file that we've sent you. Otherwise, if you make changes on older versions of the file, what happens is someone has to redo work. Either we have to reformat the book for you, which takes a lot of time and money, or you know um, you have to make edits again that you made in a different file, and it just gets really confusing, really difficult. So make sure you always use the most recent file. So once you send us your file for formatting, you can't change it anymore because we're formatting it for you. Um, because if you do, you're going to have to make changes again once we send you the file back. So make sure uh, when you send us the file, you're ready. You send it to us, we'll format it, we'll send you the file back. Then you can delete your old files, use this new updated formatted file, make any changes you want before the final stage of publishing. Then send us back the update, say, hey, you know, we needed to make these changes, we made some edits, here's the most recent file. And that way we can delete our old files and keep the most recent one as well. So we're all on the same page. So, you know, when your book is published, we make sure that all the edits you want to be or in there are in there. We make sure it's totally formatted. We got everything in the right place. Everyone's happy. The reader gets the best book and it takes us a lot less time uh, to get everything done and to get your book out there and selling. 
So make sure you, you always focus on that. Always use the most recent file. If you're not sure, just email. Say, hey, do you have the most recent file? I'd like to make some more changes. Please let me know. And we'll send you the most recent file. Um, you know, that way it just saves everyone a lot of time. Okay, now if you've upgraded to paperback publishing, uh, you want to publish your book in paperback as well as ebook for you, that's great. There's nothing extra that you need to do at all. So when you uh, write your book, you deliver us the final book, uh, you're either going to use our template or just you know, send us the raw document. Um, and we'll format that for Kindle first and foremost. So the first thing we do is we format it for Kindle, we get that done, we make sure you're happy with it. And after that, we'll go ahead and take that same file and format it for paperback for you as well. So you don't need to do any extra work. There's no, no extra work you need to do if you're getting your book published in paperback. Um, so don't, you know, don't go out and hire a paperback formatter. Don't, don't do any extra work. Just work on that one file. Make sure your one file is totally done. You're totally happy with it. And then send it to us and we'll do all the rest of the work for you. So there's no extra work you need to do. Okay, so make sure below this video you download um, the publishing checklist. It's going to take you through the entire process I've, I've described in this video in written form. So it gives you the checklist, step one, step two, step three. Um, so you're really sure and certain of everything you need to do. Uh, it just makes it really simple, super easy. Uh, download that template, print out that checklist, um, use that because just put the checklist next to your computer when you're writing so you can see, okay, here's what I need to do and you can check it off as you go along. It'll make the whole process a lot easier for you. Uh, you won't have to worry about, am I doing it right? You'll know you're doing everything just perfectly, just fine. And of course, if you have any questions, just email us, ask us, let us know how we can help you make the process even easier. And in the next video, we'll cover uh, what happens once your book is published. We'll cover that entire process, the, all the marketing, the launch campaigns, everything we'll cover in the next video. So um, looking, really looking forward to working with you. I wish you an incredible day and take care.